Hi everyone, this is Olivia with Crafting with Ollie. Uh, welcome back and happy 2022. Um, just before I start, I just want to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel. I finally reached a thousand subscribers, so I appreciate everyone's um, support for this. And uh, let, me, let me go ahead and get started with our craft for today. It's going to be a beehive or be, uh, out of an Easter egg. Um, this one comes in a set of three. There's a bigger one. There's supposed to be another one that goes inside of this. This is the mid-size one. So when Easter comes around, if you want to stock up on these, as you can you do that and you'll be prepared for a beehive. Now, um, I am going to be using this rope. It's from Dollar Tree. And it's an eight foot rope. There's another one that's nine feet and that one's a lot thinner. So just be careful on what size you want to use. I like this one because it's a little bit more thicker. And uh, the egg, I want to say I got these at Walmart, if not Hobby Lobby. So just so you'll know. And let me go ahead and get started uh, with this. I'm going to go ahead and get with this rope. I'm going to start gluing it at starting from at the bottom uh, going around this way it has a tape here I guess to keep it from unfresh unraveling so let me go ahead and take this tape off and if you haven't subscribed to my channel I appreciate it for those of you who have not to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel There you go. All right, so let's go ahead and get started down here at the very bottom. It doesn't matter where you start. I'm gonna be putting some hot glue down here. And this will start it off right there. I'm just going to hold it until it holds before I start wrapping it around. I've seen people who don't find these Easter eggs that you they use the bas plastic baskets uh, or other forms, other shapes that have this shape onto them. They just turn them upside down. I'm talking about those weight, the basket ones. I believe they're for plants. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what those baskets are for. So ahead of time, once uh, they start putting out Easter stuff, I know right now everybody's putting out um, Valentine stuff. So you'll be seeing a lot of Valentine's things out there right now. And speaking of Valentine's, I will be doing a craft. Next craft I will be doing will be a, a Valentine wreath. So just hits up on that. We will, I will be creating a Valentine wreath real soon. I just wanted to do this little beehive because it's really easy to make and it's cheery for the spring coming up. I know everybody right now we're stuck with the winter. But this little beehive here is perfect for the spring. So you'll have something ready for to welcome the spring season as it rolls through. <clears throat> Right, guys so I, as you notice I'm just going to keep going around and around this whole egg and as soon as I'm done with that I'll come back and show you how I do the top all right guys I'm at the top already and as you can see I'm about to finish this right here and uh, just for your information it took four of these uh, the eight foot rope and uh, that'll be a total of 32 feet if you add them all together plus I still need a little bit more at the top so I'm gonna have to be I'm gonna have to use that fifth one 
So just so you'll know, if you are going to be using this rope, it's going to take at least five for this size uh, Easter egg. And let me see, it's about, I want to say about eight and a half, eight and a half tall, the size of this. So if you are using a bigger egg, more rope, of course. <laughs> so let me go ahead and show what I'm going to do at the top here. I've seen people put the little handle at the top like, like it's going to be so you can like hold it. Just taking the tape off over here at this end. Okay. So what they do is they put this little handle like this. And then they do the, the rope around over it. Let me just cut this off here. I don't remember exactly. I think I'll put it like that. Let me just put some glue here on the ends. And I'm just going to continue working this around. Let me straighten this up so I can add it right here. And to continue, I just add glue on the tip here and glue it to this end. Press it together to make it look like it's one whole continuation of the rope right there. Let it sit and then continue around. I'm going to cut a little piece. And this will just go inside right here. All the way around. Let me just go ahead and add all the glue in there. off and 
just stuff that in there. And there you have a little handle to hold it up. Just put some glue in here to hold all those pieces down. And make sure you always use a finger protector. You want to burn yourself to press these in there. There you have it. Now uh, I'm just going to create a little entrance to the beehive. I'm just going to use some more rope to create like a little circle. And you're going to add it, you're going to put it like around right there. And I think that about that size is good enough for me. Let me just cut this and I'm going to glue the ends together. I'm just going to hold these until it sticks. And right there where they it attaches, I'm gonna put those. I'm gonna put that in the bottom of this because I'm gonna add like a hot glue, like it's dripping out, and I'm gonna color it gold or yellow to make it look like it's honey coming out of the the beehive. So let me just go ahead and add it in here, in about this distance. Right there's fine. Let me add glue here. Oops, the music fell out. My poor glue gun has had its days. It's already burning out on me, but I've made it last. The cheap little glue gun I got at Walmart. It's done good for me so far. Okay, this area right here, I'm going to get some black paint. Make sure this is all secure in there. I'm going to get some black paint and paint that in. Let me just grab a paintbrush real quick. And some black paint. I went ahead and got some black paint and I'm just going to go ahead and cover, paint all of this in here. You could use a black marker or you can use black paint, whichever you have is best for you. All right, I'm done painting this black and now I'm just going to grab my glue gun and kind of like do a drip of glue. Kind of like to resemble uh, Honey coming out of the the beehive. Okay. 
Okay. Just a little drop and let it run down on its own. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside and let that dry. I'll leave it like that. And now I'm going to work on my bees, little bees that I make. I'm gonna show you how I make my bees. Um, I went ahead and got these uh, little beads. Um, I'm not sure what size they are. I just went ahead and uh, stringed them through this uh, paintbrushes that I had and I spray painted them. So it was gonna be a quick thing to do, just spray paint them. So what you do is you get the wire and you're going to connect You're going to connect your two beads uh, like so. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm holding the two beads together and I'm just going to twist this on. Okay, what I get my two beads the to make the body of the bee and I'm going to connect the two beads with the hot glue. Just make sure that that the opening are the same because you're gonna put a wire through here. Let me straighten this out. It was crooked. You're gonna thread it through. You should be able to come out through the other side if you put the the beads correctly. Should have waited until that dried up. Put some glue again. I'll set that aside. I'm going to do the other two because I didn't let the glue dry up and they started falling apart. And uh, I spray painted these earlier and I think the paint is just still a little fresh. It's not completely dry, so you can see that it's kind of getting on my fingers here. Okay, remember to line up the hole so that you are able to pull the wire through. Let me set these aside so they can dry. I don't want to work on them. And then, all right. 
Put the wire through and then twist it down here. Okay, so you decide which part you want it to be the head, and the other part will be the body. What I'm going to do is, oh, here it is. <laughs> I'm using the this little thin gold uh, ribbon, and I'm going to use it to wrap it around to make it look like the stripes of the of the bee. I'm going to put two around the, the body. So let me go ahead and just put some glue here. This is very delicate work, very because it's very small. So you just have to be a little bit patient with this. Okay, that's one stripe. I'm going to go ahead and do the same for the other. The other stripe is going to run right next to it. Let me just add some glue right here. And add the ribbon to it. And I'm just pressing this down so it can be around the, the little bead on the back. Okay, now for the wings, I have this ribbon that's kind of like a silver with a clear almost uh, see-through uh, plastic there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to form a like a circle to make the the wing let me cut off this is a wired wired uh, cut off this bottom part it's a wired ribbon so I am able to shape it let me cut this to a little V
I was kind of doing like a little half circle here and that's uh, forming the shape of the wing one of the wings go right about here I'm gonna place it in there Okay, so if you can see, I kind of like did like a little horseshoe figure there. And that's going to be one of the wings. Let me see. So I can make another one. I'm going to use this, this pattern here. So I know how much to cut for the other one. Since it's going to have two wings. So you, I don't know if you can see that um, it's just a long the wire is running up here and this little section all I'm doing is just shaping it because the wire will bend and I'm going to shape it into a U shape like that So there you'll have the two wings. Let me go ahead and shape the other one again because I I opened it up just to get a little pattern. And uh, whatever you decide to use, uh, this is my, my creation of how I wanted it to look. You can do any any other. I, if you have another idea better than this, then go for it. But this is just what I think. What I'm going to do here now is I'm going to just add it, make sure I have this correctly. I'm just going to add it right here, add some glue to this section right here between the two beads. And that's where I'm going to add this wing. Do the same to the other side. I'm going to put glue right there. And add the wing in that area. So if you notice, it didn't take very much uh, material to make this wing these wings we add some more glue right here to press this down Hold it in place so it can dry up and stick. There you have the two little wings. 
Now for the eyes, all I do is I use uh, this Sharpie, the white Sharpie marker. Um, you have to shake it. And all I do is just gonna put little white dots on there. And um, I am going to put little antennas on it. Also, uh, it's gonna have a little stinger in the back hole. Let me get my materials, I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm going, like I said, I'm going to get this white marker and I shaked it real good because it took me a while to get it going. And all I'm going to do is, is just press little dots on here to create the, the eyes on this. Just wait for it to dry. And now for the little antennas. Oh, yes, I was going to do the little thing on the back. It's a little stinger. Let me just cut a little piece here. Add some glue in here. Little hole in the back. So that the stinger can stay in there. Just push it in. And that little hole in the front looks like it's, it's the mouth. And all it needs now is a little antennas. So let me just put this here and get the antennas and I'm using this wire I believe it's a 20 gauge it's not it's not too hard to bend so I think it's a 20 gauge and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to curl the top I'm gonna use this little wire cutters tip and I'm going to just curl the top real like this just to make a little like a little circle up the top to make it look like the antenna of the of the B and I'm gonna cut it about this big and then just make a little flat surface like that I think this might be a little bit too big yeah it's too big let me just cut that off a little bit and what I'm doing is I'm making like a little a flat surface this is the part that I'm going to glue down to the to the head of the bee. I'm making the, the, the bee the the thing too big for that bee. Let me just cut it off a little bit more. Sorry about that. It's just a trial and error until you get it right. Okay, I think that looks about a good size right there. So like I said, I'm just flattening this area right here. Um, you can see that. And that area will will go right in here. Just put a dab of glue and just make this a little bit more wider. The L part right here. I'm going to put a dab of glue right above the eye in this area and I'm going to put the antenna in there. I got it. Oops. Move it to forward and I got the glue over his eye. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. I just go ahead went ahead and just put it in there. I just add a little bit of more glue so it'll stay. I'll make sure I, he doesn't lose his little antenna. Okay, so that's one antenna on here. And let me go ahead and make another one. Okay, I just make this into a little curve. Curl it in. And not too big, remember it's a little small. Make this into an L shape down here so that you can glue it onto his head. All I'm gonna do is put glue on this other side over here. A little dab of glue and stick the antenna in there. So 
just gonna add some more glue so it'll stay and there you have it this is a little bee that's the back I'm just cleaning up the glue that he has on him and the little that you can use this to stick it into the beehive or on a flower however you, wherever you're going to want to put put him and you can add a little black dot i'm going to use this little sharp marker just so you can look like he has a little eyeball right in the center just add a little dot I'm trying to make a little dot. <laughs> there. This one didn't come out as good. All right, that that seems satisfied with that. It's not gonna be perfect, but I like that. I like my little bees. So here's the one B. Now, go back to the the bee, this thing, and I'm just going to decorate it, and uh, I'm going to add a bowl and a, up at the top, and I'm also going to be adding this bee on it. I don't know if y'all seen these bees. I, I get them at, uh, at Hobby Lobby, where they sell stickers. So I'm going to be using this this bee also on my beehive. I'm going to put a flower up there, a bow with uh, that bee. And the bow that I I like to make, I went I really went ahead and cut the six inch ribbon. Uh, you can use whatever color you want, and make sure you you dovetail your points. And the way I do it is I just layer the the ribbon I'm using this yellow polka dot and this uh, daisy one and all I'm doing is just going like making an X with it and I layer them they don't have to be exactly the same I'm gonna put this one this way and then you just grab it here in the center and you pinch it in and that'll create a little bow. Okay, just fluff out your... And here I'm going to use... I always like to use a jute rope to tie it in the center. I just wrap it around, flip it over and just tie it. And there you have a quick little bow. In this bow, I'm going to tie it up here. That's why you have this little handle here. I'm going to use this little strings from that to tie this on. Oops. Now the and there you have your little bow. And then the, your B, I'm gonna add it this way. at the top in the center of the bow and the other bees I'm going to be uh, placing them around but I'm going to add some flowers in this area right here and I still got to finish my honey here I'm going to get this yellow marker it's a sharpie and I'm going to see if I can color this so it can maybe look like it's uh, honey giving it this yellow color 
don't know if you can see if it's actually turning yellow or not. I think I see a little yellowish. So all that glue that I put on here, then I made it drip down like this. I made it, making it look like it was honey coming out of the, the hole. Okay, I think that looks like honey to me. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and put the decorations around the, the hole here. I went ahead and got this little uh, sign, and I put Busy Bees with my white, white uh, Sharpie. And I'm just going to add glue on this right here and add the sign right about here. Just going to hold it there till it sticks. And I'm going to cover that up with these little uh, daisies. I had this packet of daisies for a while and... I got a whole packet of these at uh, Hobby Lobby and I'm almost out. I need to go buy another packet because I, I like to use my daisies a lot. So all I'm going to do is just uh, come in around here and add these little flowers here just to decorate the, the entrance of the beehive. And I'm going to add a bee, one of these bees that I made. Um, this little end here can stick into the into the rope, and for more so, so make it more secure. I'm just going to add glue on here on the end, so where I stick it, that's where it'll stay. I have another one here, another little bee, and I think I'm going to put him here in this area, in the entrance of the of this beehive, and I'm going to put some, another flower down here. So it's just how you want to decorate this, whatever flowers you want, you prefer. You could use the sunflower, you can use the daisy, any flower you're of your liking is fine okay let me go ahead and add some glue on this so it'll stay in there and it won't fall out There you have the little busy bee with his honey falling out of the beehive. And there you have it, guys. There's my my beehive. Um, the bees might look a little complicated to do, but once you get used to making them, they'll go. Thank you for being here with me guys i appreciate it a lot i hope you can try and see if you can make this it'll be also be high basel thank you bye bye